Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm going to show you the sparkling embellishments that I made. And I was playing with this um, glue. I didn't try it before and I just wanted it to see what I can do with this one. It's a fabric tack um, glue and I heard that it was like the hot glue but liquid and cold. So I got this one and it's excellent for laces, ribbon, fabric. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. But I also wanted to um, make an experiment. So I decided to try on embellishments. And I created some embellishments that I want to share with you. And I'm going to show you first the embellishments and then I'm going to tell you how I made it. Okay. For example, right here, this is a box that I've been decorating. And I didn't make a mini album, but a mini album is going to be inside. This is the embellishment. Look how pretty. It looks like glass. It looks like a, a rock, right? And that's a beautiful center for this box, right? So then on the other side, I'm going to show you. Okay, right here. As you can see, this is another embellishment that I created. And... Right here in this center, I used the glue and I put all these pearls and then I added the rose on top. And th these are just pearls all around. You can make beautiful, beautiful stuff to embellish your mini albums or boxes or anything. Now I'm going to show you another one using those um, molds. For example, this is another mini album that I made. Look at this. This is another um mold that i uh painted with gesso on top so it has the look of the gesso and then i fill it with that glue and then i put this um embellishment is like a bead for bracelets and this was supposed to be the initials of italy <laughs> but my mom's name is ita <laughs> just ita so i uh, just put it up here in the center because this mini album is for my mom and uh, I love it. I love how this one, it gets the attention of the cover. See how beautiful, right? Now I'm going to show you some more embellishments that I made and I will use this one in my future projects. Look at this. So beautiful. The heart goes like this, see? And I also made this one like for a tag. See how cute? It looks like icy rock, right? It's very sparkly. And this is another one. See how beautiful. Okay, and I'm going to share the links of the stuff that I use from Mali. For example, the sequence, that iridescent sequence. I love this one. You can buy it at AliExpress and also the molds. So I'm going to share that uh, in the description box, okay? So now I'm going to tell you what I used and how I made it. For the embellishments of the mini album, I use this one. Um... I made them with these silicone molds. See how beautiful. And you can get this one at Ali or at any craft store. See, and you can make beautiful embellishments. And I use this acrylic latex caulk. So this one is better than the gesso, I think, because the gesso breaks. And if you want your mini album to last, for a long time, then I think it's better because um, you can cover with gesso on top, like painting, and it will have the same finish, but it's not going to break, okay? Um, the gesso embellishments breaks easily, and I use this gesso by Martha Stewart, and I got this one at Michael's long ago, but you can find any other brand. And I just painted on top because the color is different, okay? The color of this one, it's kind of um, dark. 
and compare with this one see this is more white it's because it has the jets on top okay so i love 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 that i can use these ones now and make different things and i also have this one from michael's and i use this small one for this embellishment see and i use the acrylic caulk as well you will need a small embellishments like acrylic flowers look at this one like this heart or maybe some uh, metal embellishments to put inside or like this bead see so anything that can fit inside okay you can maybe find a metal um greeting like hello or something okay something that it's uh, plastic acrylic or metal like look at this see it was a beautiful button and i just put it in the center and i'm going to upload a tutorial so if you don't know how to do this you can uh, learn and make these beautiful embellishments okay so you can use those or any other frame you can have metal frames wood frames anything okay so now let me tell you what i used for these ones for the center of these embellishments i use this metal bottle cap okay so you can use this one to hold the glue and put all the embellishment or like for this i use this one another bottle cap for um the water the water bottle cap and try to use the shallow ones okay I prefer the shallow ones because then your embellishment it doesn't get big okay because for these cabochons or medallions you can use um, these pearls and then I also got this one you can get this one at any craft store in a roll and I got them from Aliexpress and I'm going to put a link okay it's cheaper and it comes a lot of this then you can use some small lace and for the ones with the bottle caps this one the metal bottle caps i had to paint it with white okay you can use white acrylic paint or gesso and paint it white because that glitter or anything that you put inside is going to have a rich color then just put it on top of this okay I'm gonna show you how to do this one and for this one I used this sequence from Aliexpress and these are iridescent and it has like a little uh, sparkling light pink see so beautiful and I'm going to use this rose that I got from Aliexpress as well okay first you're going to just put a little bit of this uh, liquid glue i don't know if you can use um, any other kind of glue but no hot glue because it dries so fast that you cannot do this project okay so you are going to put just a little bit like this okay you don't have to fill it then you are going to put a few of these okay then you're going to add more more glue okay now this time you're going to uh, fill it just like about half okay about half and the reason why you had to put um, some of the sequences before is to cover okay the empty spots when you put the next layer of sequences okay i'm going to use a spoon so i can spread better okay you just put the sequences 
and then if you have a toothpick or a tool so you can move this one okay it's going to be better once you spread them okay you will see that some are loose but don't worry because you're going to add a little more of the glue so you can have them all together okay but try to put them all around then you are going to add a little more of glue and this glue contains acetone and the acetone evaporates so it's going to shrink okay after it start drying it's going to shrink it's not going to be awful as you can see okay and you have to be careful because it damages the wood lacquer okay the finish on top of the glue so you have to be careful with that okay then i'm going to put a little more And it's better if you do it with something clear, not not the, the color sequence, okay? So it can sparkle more. See, after you have all of this full, then you just press and it's going to adhere. You don't have to put more glue on top, okay? You just leave it like that. Okay, so it can sparkle. If you put more glue and leave it, it's going to be dull. So just the last part had to be the sequences, okay? So it can shine. Then you are going to put a little bit of glue in the center, like you're going to glue the embellishment. Okay, just a bit, a little bit of glue in the center. And then you can add the rose. Make sure it's in the center. And that's it. You have to let it dry for one day, okay? Until all the glue is completely dry, okay? Because there is a lot of glue in there. For the next one that I made, can you see that color, okay? those are seed beads okay and i chose that because that matches the color of this embellishment so i wanted to give the same color look okay so now i'm going to put the glue you can use seed beads you can use sequins okay And after you have some, okay, you're going to add the seed beads. And after you add the seed beads, you have to move so all the seed beads spread okay and i think they are already in all around see then you're going to add more of this glue on top See, like this and this time I'm going to use glitter to give the sparkly looking okay so now we're going to add a little bit of this um, glitter okay you don't have to add a lot because it's going to cover the color i think that will be enough 
Okay, as you can see. As you can see, it didn't cover the color of the seed beads, but it make it sparkle. See? And if you want to take a little more, you can use a brush or, for example, I recycle this one from a makeup blush and I wash it very well. So I use this one to um, brush the glitter if it's too much see so now i think that's exactly what that i want and i can add the embellishment in the center okay you put just a dot of glue and you can add your embellishment in the center See, just like this. Now I'm going to use the bottle cap, okay, this one, and I'm going to show you the two um, embellishments that I made. Look at this. I put a metal button in the center, see, and right here an acrylic rose, and I'm going to use this one. It's a button. And I really love the shape, so I'm going to use that for the center, okay? So what you do is to put the glue. Okay, you're going to put some of the glue and spread. Don't feel it yet, okay? Then you're going to put some glitter. And I'm going to use this glitter. Okay. now I'm going to add more glue on top okay you just do it on top like this and this time you feel it more and as I said it's going to shrink okay because it has acetone so after you put all the glue you want try to fill it all the sides okay you just move like this and because it's liquid it's going to spread okay once you have it you're going to add more glitter and this time you can cover it okay and you're going to tap like this and then throw away the glitter that you are not going to use. Now, if your embellishment, your center is heavy, like this metal thing, it's heavy, it's going to sink. So you have to uh, let it dry for like half an hour. And then put more glue in the center and put your embellishment carefully. Don't push it, okay? Put your embellishment and then let it dry for one day, okay? But um, I'm going to show you now how you do it, okay? You just put glue in the center. Try not to touch the glitter with the tip, okay? So you just put a little bit in the center. And then you just place your embellishment on top. See? And that's it. Don't push it. Okay? Just let it there. Let it dry for one day. Okay? I'm going to show you how I made this one. Okay? I used one of these plastic bottle caps. Okay? And I just put glue. And I feel it like half. Okay, then 
I added some of these loose pearls that I bought at Michael's and I just fill it with them, okay? They are different sizes, but it's okay. I just want pearls, so that's okay. You have to fill them. And cover it. Okay, once you have them all, push them and see these empty spaces you can put more and you can move this one right here with a toothpick or this tool and then you can press like this and I think it's enough now okay now I'm going to cover it with glue Again, just the empty spaces, okay, just like this. Okay, you're going to cover it. And if you see something Okay, turn them okay, if you see something that shows the holes and that's okay because you have more uh, the pearls are more raised than the bottle cap can you see so now okay that's okay you don't have to overflow that with glue and now I'm going to add this um, rose this one is a resin rose see and I'm going to put in the center so I'm going to add just one drop of glue on top, okay, just to make sure this, it has glue. I'm going to show you how to do with these um, frames, okay? I just painted with gesso, but I'm going to use it anyways like that. You're going to trace the shape. Okay, of your embellishment and you are going to cut smaller than what you have okay for example I have the shape like that I'm going to you have to look how much you have so like about half is going to be like a quarter of an inch less than what is traced all around okay so i'm going to cut like about right here okay and it's going to be like this so i can put in here and as you can see almost see almost almost then there is going to be okay um the size to cover right so and we're going to put glue around this shape right here to uh, glue this um, cardstock okay i use cardstock but you can use uh cheaper if you want if you um glue this one and put it on top of your table if your table uh, has the lacquer finish and put that liquid the acetone goes through the cardstock and it's going to damage so you have to put something on top so i'm going to use this a scrap of chipboard because i don't want to damage my table and you can use the same glue to attach that piece of um the piece of cardstock okay so once you put it um all around you just cover it and then put on sur your surface okay okay there is where it's going to dry so you have to place it like this it can be on a plate if you if you don't have a 
scraps you can put it on top of a plate okay but um just to have something to protect your table okay i really really love this finish it looks like glass okay so we're going to do this finish and i'm going to bring my embellishment to put inside and this is the embellishment that i'm going to use same as the other ones you have to fill your embellishment okay like this and then you're going to put a little bit of the glitter and now i'm going to add the glitter sometimes this one this glue make bubbles but don't worry because the glitter is going to cover everything okay so you just put the glitter and then you can tap then throw the excess into a container that you can put the glitter back see and this is the glitter that i bought at walmart okay then you can put a little more of the glue and try to fill it because th then it's going to shrink okay you fill now this time you're going to fill it all and put more glitter okay now you add more of the glitter then you you can press a little bit so it can spread okay you can spread the glue can spread and stay even And the reason why I hold these two together is because they, this is too flexible. And if I do it like this, the shape is not going to be straight. Can you see? Because the glue right now, it's wet. And I had to keep it straight, okay? And then you can get your brush and take all the glitter. And now when it's done, okay you have all the uh, glitter even on your um, shape on your frame you can put a little bit of glue in the center and just put your embellishment on top do not press do not push it to the bottom okay just leave it on top when it shrinks it's going to get it down a little bit okay so you are going to glue your embellishment with one drop of glue like this and now you can place the embellishment in the center just try to center it but then leave it like that okay it had to be in there for one day all of these to uh, just let it dry completely it had to be one day and you don't have to touch the embellishments not pushing nothing okay just leave it for one day then you can play with them and then do this all around with the pearls okay or anything else that you want to um, do at around your center now I'm going to show you one of the embellishments that it's done Okay, it's been 24 hours and as you can see this one, see it um, shrunk a little bit, right? And this is how it looks. See, it looks like a rock, a diamond rock inside. <laughs> it looks very beautiful, see? So that's one. 
And now I'm gonna show you how to make these ones. And for that, I will use a piece of cardstock and um, hot glue, okay? Now here is the embellishment done. And what I will do is to glue this string around the bottle cap, okay? And I just put a little bit of uh, hot glue and now I'm going to continue gluing this one on the edge, okay? On the edge right here. And now my embellishment look like this, okay? I just put on the, on the edge, okay, of the top. Now, um, this one, I got it from Michael's and it comes like this, okay? A set of uh, many trims and this is the one that I'm using. Now, we are going to glue this one to a piece of cardstock, okay? So, I'm going to use hot glue for that. Mm -hmm. And now that it's glue on a piece of cardstock, I'm going to put that pearl that I'm going to use. And this is one, uh, this is the pearl that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put it up here. And I'm going to make a mark right here, okay? For the size of the pearl, see? And I'm going to cut, and I'm going to cut like about, this is like about one fourth of an inch all around, okay? Because I don't need the whole thing. So I will cut like about, that's okay if you cut a little less, okay? Then you can trim it if it's too big, so. Okay, it will look like that. And now the next step is to glue the pearls all around, okay? And I'll do like this, okay? I just get the um, trim to the top with one finger and then I put the glue on that side, okay, see, on the bottle cap and on the paper, just two dots, okay, and then I add one pearl in there, see, try to put the holes of the pearl to the sides, okay, so you do that, and then you continue, okay, and then you do the same thing right here, See, if you want, you can leave a little space depending on how many pearls you have. Um, if you um, want to put them very close, it's fine, okay? Uh, my string of pearls that I'm going to put on top is kind of thick, so I'm leaving a little bit of a space. But you, it's up to you, okay? You can put it all the way together. I'm just trying to do a little bit of a space. Because I don't have many of these to see. And I'm going to continue until it's done. Now I'm done. And I'm going to cut the excess of the paper. Just like this, okay? See? Cut any excess. So you don't see that paper. See? And now we are going to glue this one. Okay, this is how I do it. This is the easiest way, okay? I grab this one to the center and I'm going to put hot glue right here, okay, on the side. And I start right here and glue this one. Then I get a scissors and I cut it up here, see? So then again, okay, I put glue. And again, I just put my trim of pearls and then I cut the excess, see? And then you can continue, okay? And now this is the final result of how it looks with the eyelash trim on the border, okay, in the center. See, it covers the bottle cap 
and it gives a shabby chic look, right? So this is it. Now I'm going to show you how to finish this one, okay, with a pearl. Can you see it's dry and it's kind of matte, the silicone that we put on top? So that's why we are going to add glitter glue and it will give a shiny look to this one. And I'm going to use these stickles in diamond. And I just do this. Um, I put the stickles in between the pearls. And now it's going to look very sparkly. But um, you can see the pearls, right? Now we are going to glue the piece of lace all around, okay? So I'm going to use hot glue and I'm going to glue this one all around and it looks like um the lace is holding everything right now this is ready and now i'm going to glue on a piece of cardstock and i'm going to do the same thing now that i put the cardstock i'm going to glue the pros on top of the lace see like this and glue it all the way on the side okay so they're going to look like this and now this is how it's going to look at the end can you see you can um put a lot of glitter glue and you still can see the pearls inside and then you can decorate with more pearls outside and it's going to be a very nice embellishment. Now I'm going to show you how to finish the other ones that you don't put anything inside, okay, around the bottle caps. Can you see? Uh, you can notice right here the edge of the bottle cap and also right here, right? So what you do for these ones is to add more glitter. And for that, we're going to use this, okay? And now this is how I'm going to do, okay? I'm just going to add glue right here in the edge of the bottle cap. All around. And I'm going to use this one. Okay. And I'm going to tap. Then. And this is how it's going to look. See, it covers all the bottle cap. And it looks so, so, so pretty. See? And when it dries, it will shrink a little bit and it will look like this. Okay? Now we are going to put glitter on this one and it's going to be the same thing. Okay? And we're going to do the same thing. Okay? We are going to add the glue right here. Okay? Covering the edge of the metal or the bottle cap. See right here. And I'm going to add a little bit inside. Okay. Because I'm going to change the glitter. I'm going to use the, the, the one ha that has um, pink sparkles. Okay. Here is the, gl the glitter that I'm going to use. Okay. So now I'm going to use a spoon and I'm going to tap so everything is covered and this is how it's going to look can you see how sparkly it is
And now, as you can see, these are all my samples of my experiment using this glue. And I hope you can try and make some fancy embellishments for your mini albums or um, to alter boxes or anything. Okay. I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching my videos, for your likes, your comments, and for subscribing to my channel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.